I'm a race engineer for Audi Sport. I've been a race engineer with them since uh, Silverstone last year, but prior to that I've been an assistant and I've been with the team since 2007. I used to be an engineer, but now I'm a TV personality and superstar. I'm going to be going and filming in Hollywood next. I think both men and women bring different qualities to, to any job. And from the point of view of just the amount of interest that's been generated since Le Mans, it's gone a bit crazy, I guess, being the only first woman, apparently, to win the race. And I think it's it's given them an eye-opener that actually it's a possibility to be involved in engineering and, and racing, and you don't have to be a guy to be doing this. Perhaps women approach things in a slightly different way, but it's always the same thing. You have to have total commitment to the project, and your guys have to have complete trust in you, so that goes so without saying whether you're a male or female. Being in charge of a car, it's about the organisation and getting people to work together and developing the car. It's a great piece of technology. There's a lot of stuff underneath the skin that it, you can't see and some of the concepts that have been used are very, very, very new and just being developed really. What takes an automotive company maybe three to four, maybe even five years to develop a brand new product, we tend to do in about a year. And it's quite quite a different way of engineering. So we all tend to pull together and everyone's trying to fight for the same thing. It's obviously the drivers uh, are wanting to fight for a win, but I think it's unique at Audi that everybody is made to get on with each other and they're not forced into it, but it's for the interests of, of winning. So whether it's Alan's car or whether it's Marcel's car today, it doesn't really make a difference. It's an Audi that needs to win. Drivers, start your engines. On race day, so many different things that need to be done. For example, getting out to the grid on time, the grid procedure, the parade lap, the driver's parade. I mean, you name it, it's going on. In terms of what the race engineers are doing, you've got to manage your crew, your parts, your car, building it all up, getting everything into a position where you understand your, what your goals are for the drivers and, and that kind of thing. The logistics behind it, or the movement of, of stuff, I mean, that's a massive amount of organisation on its own. It's a hard job to do, but I decided when I was quite young that this is what I wanted to do.